Today, as we continue with Holy Week, I want to reflect upon something that we had in a sermon given to us through the Office of Readings yesterday in the Liturgy of the Hours. And towards the end of the second reading, it was that sermon from St. Augustine, who's reflecting upon Paul and Paul's boasting. What does Paul boast in? Well, Paul reminds us most especially in his letter to the Galatians that he boasts in the cross of Christ. And when we think about that, it's a very powerful statement, which St. Augustine made very clear. Think about Christ. All things were created by Christ. Think of every single miracle that Christ performed. Think about the fact that Christ is truly God and truly man. Of all the things that can amaze us about Christ, St. Paul said, I will boast only in the cross of Christ. How important it is for us to meditate deeply upon Christ's cross, the victory that comes to us through that cross. As we continue on this journey of Holy Week, most especially as we come to prepare ourselves for Good Friday, it's important for us to think more deeply of all the things that Paul could have celebrated in the life of Christ. Why did he only choose to boast in the cross? What is it about this symbol that strengthens not only ourselves, but strengthens the whole entire world? I would speculate that there is no greater sign of sacrificial love. Or we could speculate it comes from the last words of Christ upon the cross. When he speaks, it is finished. It's actually words that mean the debt has been paid, the justice of God has been met, the unblemished lamb, the sinless one has died for our sins. It was a debt that we could not pay ourselves. It was a debt he needed not pay for us. But out of true love, he became like us in all things but sin, so that in his humanity, he could demonstrate to us true sacrificial love, and in his humanity, invite us to participate in his divinity. It is a beautiful reflection for us as we continue this Holy Week.